each one of us has been elected by the same number of people. So that means that all the people who elected Democrats are being disenfranchised and left out of the process. In addition to which, there must be a large number of Republicans uh, who are also, whose constituency is also being left out of the process. Uh, I don't feel that this is right. We talk about open and transparent process. I'm not seeing it. I'm not feeling the love here. And the fact of the matter is, we only have a few days left. And while there may be movement that's going on, I don't know where the meetings are being held. If you do, I'd love to hear where they are, because we'd like to attend. And when one, one of our members tried to attend over the weekend and had to a meeting, he was told to leave that he wasn't welcome. Uh, this is not the way to run an open and, and uh, transparent government. Have, have you asked? I mean, have you, have you either by we, phone call or writing? Said, yeah, you're, yeah. you're going to participate. You'll be part of it, and we're still waiting. I understand, Except but have you, have you picked up, up the phone to Speaker Creedle and said, hey, I'd, I'd like to sit down with you or something like that? We, we've, we have uh, asked in the past to be part of the process. Heck, we want to be part of the process before the allocations were made. And we, we were not invited. Well, yesterday, today, uh, day before, we, have you? I've, I've had conversations with leadership, and we're told just, you know, just, just hang in there. We have a few more things to clarify. Well, by the time they get finished with a few more things, the game is over. You know, we haven't participated. I, I just I think that's not a good model to use. We all agree that we want to go forward. We want to have a sustainable uh, Florida for the future, not just for one year or two years. We should take this as an opportunity to come up with a meaningful policy to, to a way to address things, and we have to look at all revenue sources. All we're looking at now is stimulus money, cuts in this, but it's not really the right way to look at it. We believe that you have to look at all the revenue sources that, that will be recurring so that when the stimulus money is gone, we're not back here in two years with the same old conversation all over again. You know, although we have term limits and we, we're not going to be here after a period of time, we have an obligation to our children, to our constituents, and to all people in the state of Florida to come up with something that's going to uh, cause them no harm going forward. And this is the opportunity, but whether or not we're, we're choosing to use it, that's quite another story. And to answer your question about whether we're talking, they're talking about talking to us.